Most people in the world are looking at how do I make a life worth living or a term with having. We do that by recognizing the intellectual property of our God, Most High. The intellectual property of our God, Most High, is gifted to a variety of people across our nation and around the world. I'd like you to think that you should marvel at how society has evolved. I'd like you to think through the history and heritage of America. I'd like you to recognize the people who win Pulitzer Prizes, and I'd also like you to recognize our advances in living, technology, and health, and health care for that matter. But something I want to help you to understand is that Jesus Christ of Nazareth, or the presumption of God, was the founding reason for our nation. And if that founding reason for our nation is still present, then we recognize that everything we say, everything we do, everything we believe, in theory, comes from God. Now, if our mouth, like mine of late, and our word choices, like mine of to this day, are not pleasing to God, then we are responsible accountable and liable to the Lord for that but if the Lord Most High is encouraging me to be a little bit of a swearing guy it may be to be passionate enough about my life to move you to think differently on important topics and issues of the day because while you might be living your life in the day to day you might not be recognizing the boundaries of your life today. You see, Jesus, or your version of God, whatever you choose to call Mother and Father from Heaven, the Heavenly Father and the Divine Mother that created it all, are the right to assign to any person, any profession they carry, intellectual property to save the day or to advance our society. Otherwise, we'd still be running around as cave people in burlap gowns. What we also know is that the Lord has the power to create every, everything under heaven and earth. That is what we teach our children in Bible school. That's what we profess around the world when we try to evangelize it. And openly we promise the condition that if we have gone to God for our sins that we are forgiven. But here's the deal. Just because we've gone to God for 316 of John doesn't mean that we have the right to keep sinning. That's a premise in almost every pastor's sermon and worshiping. But here's the deal. You don't have the right to take intellectual property away from other people. We can certainly read them. We can certainly learn from them. We can certainly adapt from them. We can certainly do those things. And that's how advancements are made in our world, where people share knowledge and they work together to improve our world. But if you think that you have some self-righteous right to edit someone's content without their consent or knowledge, then what are you saying to Christ? What it sounds like and seems like you're communicating and promoting is that you are God of the universe for me or for you and I'm guessing just suggesting that the Lord Most High is going to disagree with that 